I spent over $2,000 on these one-of-a-kind Xbox Series X consoles that you can't buy from anywhere, and in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at all of them and do a teardown at each one. So we have three consoles here, and to be fair, this one, the Halo Infinite bundle, you could buy at one point in stores. Uh, you can't find them anymore unless you go on eBay. This one in the middle, don't be fooled by the packaging. It is not an original Xbox Series X. It is completely unique. I built it myself. You'll want to see it. And then this one over here is probably the craziest custom console I've ever seen in person. It is a custom Xbox Series X that's Iron Man themed. It looks awesome, and uh, we're going to take a look at all three today. So we're going to start with this normal Xbox Series X first. It is in normal packaging, but trust me, it is not a normal Xbox. So let's do the big reveal, and boom, it is my custom cardboard Xbox Series X. And yes, this thing, I completely replaced the outer parts and the inner workings with cardboard to complete a fully functional Xbox Series X that's built out of cardboard. It, it is my proudest work ever. Um, I, I will sell it to you for $14,000 and um, it'll never never leave my side unless you uh, wire me that money right now. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. And I did briefly feature this console in a video a couple months ago, so some of you have probably seen it, but we're gonna go ahead and take an in-depth look at it, and I'm actually gonna tear it down and show you the insides because that's the, that's the coolest part. And these buttons are fully functional. Like I made an Xbox Series X button that actually presses the power button. This one does the eject button. This one does the sync button. You can see a little, I messed up a piece there. Um, and it's all hot glued together. You can even plug in your USB. Um, your cable there you can put a disk drive or a disk in the disk drive it all works fully functional got your ventilation holes in the top <laughs> uh this cardboard was not great I, i'm by no means a expert on uh cardboard carving so you get what you get there it's a little bit sloppy but it does work now the bag is a little bit plain i probably should put a sticker here to represent the xbox series x like the normal one has but uh we got our ventilation holes back here you can access all your ports um, I, I did try to uh, cut the ports out one by one at first, but it was just like structurally did not work. So um, yeah, now before you open this thing up, let's plug it in. I just want to show you that it, that it does indeed work. So I have the cords plugged in now and I haven't tried this console in quite a while, so I hope it still works, but we'll, this is the button right here. We press it and it should turn on. What'd I tell you? It turns on. Now there's no lights. You can't see the lights here, but it, it will work and I'll show it to you on the screen. And yeah, there we are. So we'll put in Rocket League here and I'll show you that works. Um, honestly, I'm still surprised I was able to do this. Like this is a, an amazing engineering feat. Um, and there you go, it still fits. Oh man. Uh, now I wouldn't play this for very long because it is kind of a fire hazard, but um, it does work. And you can see right there on the screen that the game is installing now. So it does, it is fully functional. Let me try the eject button. Yeah, it still works. Watch this. Boom. Oh man, so amazing. I was gonna turn this thing off and do a teardown of it and see what it looks like on the inside. So the back of this console is actually already coming off a bit. You can see I used hot glue and it's kind of coming loose. I'm surprised it stayed together as long as it has, but it should be pretty easy to take off. And then I'll, I'll probably hot glue it back at some point. That side is not coming off very well, but let me try it. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, here we go. The big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. Cardboard Xbox Series X. I actually forgot I did all those things inside of here. Sticking the back off didn't do too much damage, but here it is. And you can kind of see I was lopsided. Like the top is a little bit larger than the bottom. Just how it worked out. Don't blame me. I guess you can blame me. I, I built it. But you got your fan up here. You've got your whole chassis down here. You've got your uh, your disk drive up here. And I think this is a pretty cool feat. I had to use a few pieces of cardboard to hold it in place. You can see that piece right there. That piece right there. The hold, they hold the disk drive in place and, it, and it's actually not too bad. Like it, it doesn't, you can't hear it vibrating. You have a few more cardboard pieces down here that also hold the sync button in place and the USB plug that's down there. And um, that was, I, I had, that was my own ingenuity. So I'm pretty proud of that. But this thing is cool. Like it, it, it fully functional, it works. I had my inspiration from, from Peter, Peter Netter. Peter can, I don't know how to say his last name, but you've probably seen him before. He makes a lot of cardboard stuff. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next console now. So guys, if you like my videos here, make sure to check out my website down below. It's called jrobgaming.com. And I've had a newsletter sign up for quite a while now. And in the past, I've kind of used it mostly for discount codes for my website, but I'm transforming it now into an actual weekly newsletter where I share uh, interesting gaming content, such as, you know, overpriced weird consoles I find, funny gaming content online, and just anything else that I think is interesting. And of course, you can hit that shop now button and still go to my website and see what I have for sale. And also make sure to check out my second channel where I'll be posting twice a week going forward. Uh, similar videos to what I have on this channel. I have a couple of Goodwill videos coming up, unboxings and teardowns, as well as eBay stuff. And uh, should be some interesting stuff. So make sure to check that out down below. So console number two, we have the special edition Halo Infinite bundle. And this is an awesome console. This is an actual official Xbox Series X console that you've probably seen before. So we'll, we'll go through this one pretty quickly. But I just wanted to show it off because it is... Uh, a very unique console and here you pull it out of the packaging I don't have 
all of my packaging in here because this is the console I actually use on a daily basis. But we got the, the cool console. I actually still have my cords and stuff and controller all wrapped up here because I haven't used them. I have a, um, other controllers and stuff I use, so I keep those nice and pristine. But I really love this console, and the, the design is so cool. I'm not even a Halo fanboy. Like, I've played a bit of Halo here and there, but I'm not a fanboy of it or, or anything like that. But it's just such a cool design. I had to pick it up. It's even got, like, these designs are etched in here. It's not a print. It's, like, completely etched in there. It's so cool. I love the, like, starry night kind of design. Honestly, probably the coolest part is the top here where you got the blue splatter. Um, the splatter is also on the fan on the inside, which you probably can't see, but it is there, and it's very cool. We also have these special edition tongue licks from my dogs right here, which I will never remove. It's a special touch to the console, makes it very unique, um, but I think that's funny. There's even a few more over here on this side, which you can't really see. But let's go ahead and plug this console in real quick. I just want to show you the, uh, the boot up sound. So here's the noise it makes when you press the power button. And then when you eject a game, it makes this noise. And then there's one more sound when you turn the console off. I'm not going to do a teardown of this one because it's basically a normal Series X inside. Um, but let's move on to the next console, which is definitely the coolest console. Uh, you're going to want to see this. So this console right here is absolutely ridiculous. It's got this full encompassing, uh, basically a Pelican case to hold the console. And this thing is a beast. Like this thing is, it is very tall. It's got this do not open property of Stark Industries on top. Again, this is an Iron Man console. You've got Stark Industries on the front here. You've got a button to press button to equalize pressure. Just such a cool touch. You've got these full on latches that you can... Um, you know open it up with it's just like it, every single little detail is answered here it's, it's so cool and this is a heavy box i don't know how much it weighs but it's 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 not light now let's go ahead and open it you twist these latches on the sides and the front and then uh basically pull the latches off and it'll release the crack in here all right so three two one here we go baby oh yeah this is such a cool console it actually doesn't look quite as good in here because i didn't i didn't pack it correctly the last time i put it in here um but he even included Gloves. The guy that made this, I forgot to mention him, um, MLM Mods. I'll put his link down below for Facebook. Uh, he does custom consoles like this, and it, it's such a such a unique console. He even included these Stark Industry gloves to unbox the console with. I have not personally touched this console without these gloves yet because I'm nervous to. Um, you can't see it on the camera, but there is another Stark Industries uh, little engraving up here in the foam. You've got the controller here. The only disappointing part here is this is actually just an Xbox One controller. It's not a Series X. Um, not a big deal because it, it's pretty much the same and it's such a cool controller. Um, let, let me just zoom in here so you can see it better. So you've got the gold buttons, you've got the clear uh, analog sticks, clear D-pad, gold on the back, red on the front, uh, very pristine. All the controls work just fine, no problem. Um, and then I believe these these two analog sticks light up when you turn the con or the controller on. Now here is the console and this thing, whew, this thing is a beast. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's such a cool design, such a cool concept, not cheap. But let me go ahead and pull it out so you guys can see it. And I'm always so nervous taking this out because it's such a cool console. So here it is, the custom Iron Man Xbox Series X console. And it's just so cool. Like you can see at first glance, it doesn't even look like a console because it's just so abstract. And you've got the arc reactor right here that's on Iron Man's chest. I don't even know what this is made out of, but it's just like, it's insane. Um, even got these little, I don't know, little belt things that wrap around it. And this thing does light up when you turn it on. Uh, you've got these plastic pieces that kind of represent his suit. Very cool. It's, it's kind of like the console was painted a base red, and then he somehow, I guess, screwed these pieces into the console, and it's it's all pristine, um, you know, all like a laser cut, I would assume. You've got these gold buttons here, like gold see-through buttons, I guess. Um, you've got this blue button up there. Very neat. The other sides look about the same. I'll have these cool, like, suit pieces. The top is straight up red, and then coming to the back here, even oh man, that was close even have this nice little stark industries imprint right here and uh yeah this console looks very nice it actually has some scratches on these back pieces because there is some film on them that i have not taken off yet because i don't want to yeah such an awesome console let me plug it in and show you what it looks like and then we're gonna do a tear down of this console the unthinkable i didn't do this i haven't done this in the past because it's uh, like it's kind of scary but we're gonna we're gonna try it out in this video so we have the console plugged in now and let's go ahead and turn it on three two one Got the blue light there, and then just wait for the arc reactor. It's uh, so cool. There it is, baby. It's got the whole blue light around the outside. Got a blue light on the inside. Your fan even lights up, as you can see in the overhead camera. Um, just such a cool design. But let's go ahead and turn this console off. And like I said, we're going to do the unthinkable. We're going to do a teardown of this thing and see what it looks like on the inside. So the good thing is that here on the back, the two screws are exposed. So we should be able to take these out pretty easily. I'm really hoping these pieces are glued to the back piece and not like glued to the side so that we can actually take this apart. Uh, I would assume 
I would assume that's how you put them, but I don't know for sure. We do have a slight problem with the second screw. Um, this piece right here kind of blocks the second screw a little bit. I gotta see if I can finagle it out of here without messing up this piece. So somehow I was able to finagle that screw out. Now I just gotta figure out how to get these clips off and pull the back piece off. I'm not sure if it's possible, we're, we're gonna try. Man, I, I hate when consoles have clips like this. It's always so jarring taking the consoles apart. All right guys, so I did it. I was able to take the back cover off. It was a little bit scary, but it, it did work. It looks like we have a little bit of overspray on the back here. I'm assuming he painted this separately than the rest of the console, you would think. Um, yeah, I don't really see any red paint inside of here. So we got something being held down here. I'm just kind of curious what that is. Oh, it looks like the original piece of tape. It doesn't stick anymore, so you just put a piece of blue tape. Nice. Uh, we've got, oh, so we got our wires that go to the fan. It's always so nice when you see a wiring job that utilizes the built-in power to get power to the, the you know the, the lights or whatever instead of using external power to plug into a USB port or whatever. And even the inside of this console is painted red. Like you can see that part is red. The entire inside part, I don't know if you can see that very well, but like inside of there is red. So uh, I guess he took the entire thing apart and just painted, painted the inside and outside of it, which makes sense. Now I'm wondering if we can get to that arc reactor on the front without breaking anything. Um, let's try. So I got the fan out and clearly it's just an LED strip all the way around the fan. Uh, you, you can't see the LED strip when you look through the top because it's just so, the holes are so cluttered. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's actually painted gold on the bottom side, on the other underside. See, it's just like the attention to detail. That whole plate right there is gold. That is, that's awesome. And yeah, the wiring job for the LEDs, you can see it's these uh, two pairs of cables come down here and go down there somewhere. And it, it, it looks, it looks almost factory. I couldn't even tell that it's not factory, but um, very nice job. So I'm taking the disk drive out now and it appears that the positive lead to the LED uh, splices into uh, this cable right here and just draws power. So I guess it draws like such little, I mean, it is, they are LEDs, LEDs don't draw much power. So um, it shouldn't take away, shouldn't take away from the ability of the disk drive to read games. Then of course you got your, your ground wire going in there to ground somewhere. So I have the entire chassis out now and you can see these two leads again that I just showed you that go into this wire and a ground in there. So if I move those out of the way, then you can look at the fan here and you can see those two leads go to here. And then there's two more leads that go down, splice down into here. Um, which you can, if my camera will focus, you can see our arc reactor down there, which is where these, uh, the positive and negative of this, this lead go to. And there you can see the arc reactor a bit closer up. You can see the two leads that go down into there. I'm not really sure what that piece is. It's some sort of light that just uh, mounts into a circular position. I don't know, um, but it looks like he just cut out a circular hole there and then assembled that little arc reactor thing that he made. But yeah, it's a pretty sweet console. Honestly, once you get into the inside, it's uh, it's fairly basic, just a couple, uh, a few wires that hook up and, um, but they were, they do look professional, um, unlike most of the consoles that I've, that I've purchased that were custom. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below which console is your favorite. Uh, honestly, I got to give them all a 10 out of 10, and the cardboard is my favorite because it's just it's my own home project. It's so cool. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.